we're coming to you from three floors below the octagon with a show that's going to take a new look at some of the most insane moments in UFC history. This is probably going to ramp up slowly over time. And oh my God! Butterbean answering the age old question, what if a thumb was a person? Are these guys twins? No, they just dress like them. Weird, lame, right? right? Yeah, enjoy, guys. Somebody called tech support? No. And you can take that to the bank. That is a solid business model. Agreed. No notes. In a champion, you look for someone who's dominant, who's above the rest of the pack. That is Kamara Usman. Oh! Usman still undisputed! I am the pound for pound best alive right now. Every single time he steps out here, he proves it. I'm here to stay for the long run. You'll fade away before I'm done. If Usman can keep doing what he's doing, he's going to go down as the greatest ever. But he's facing a man in Leon Edwards that's a real threat. I'm on a win streak in the hardest division in the sport. He's earned his spot here. Like it or not, I'm at your toe. Uh -huh. Open the gate, cause it rock cold. Kamara Usman, I look forward to my tower shot. I'm going to win the fight. Leon Edwards poses the biggest threat, but I will knock him out. I'm unstoppable. Yeah. Kamara Usman. You're looking at a man. The skills that this man has, he can submit you or knock you out on the beat. He's a very dangerous man. One of the scariest knockout artists in the UFC, Paolo Costa. He's a force of destruction. He throws bombs. Luke Rockhold returns. He is an animal inside the octagon. The king of Rio, Jose Aldo. One of the best of all time. The Rob Wallace Willie. This man is a savage. The UFC returns to Salt Lake City. I can't wait! I'm unstoppable! Tomorrow, the UFC returns to San Diego, looking to continue his momentum with a fourth consecutive victory. Marlon Chito Vera takes on the former bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. Plus, a full card of non-stop action you do not want to miss. UFC Fight Night. Vera versus Cruz, live from Pachanga Arena on ESPN and streaming on ESPN+. Plus. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-ins for UFC Fight Night, Vera versus Cruz. Tomorrow's main event features top 10 bantamweight contenders chasing down a shot at the title. Marlon Chito Vera has put Ecuador on the MMA map and continues to be one of the most action-packed fighters in the UFC. Coming off three straight victories, he enters his second main event in 2022. On the other side is San Diego's own Dominic Cruz. Regarded by many as the greatest bantamweight of all time, Cruz rides his own wave of momentum as he continues to chase down a third UFC championship. We would like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today here in San Diego. We hope to see all of you right back here for the fights tomorrow night. And now, the weigh-in for UFC Fight Night, Vera versus Cruz. San Diego, what's going on? Happy Friday. We are thrilled to be back first time since 2015. Give it up for Ariani and Brittany. Sean Shelby's in the house. Hunter Campbell, we got 13 fights coming tomorrow night. It starts at one o'clock local time with a bantamweight showdown. Yusuf Zalal takes on Damon Blackshear. First to the scale, Damon Blackshear. Official weight, 134 pounds for the newcomer, Damon Blackshear. And his opponent, the Moroccan Devil, Yusuf Zalal. Official weight, 135 and a half 
for Yusuf Zalal. Next up, a catchweight bout at 180 pounds. Jason Witt takes on Josh Quinlan. First to the scale, Josh Bushido Quinlan. Official weight, 175 pounds for Josh Quinlan. And his opponent, Jason, the Vanilla Gorilla, wins. Official weight, 179 and a half for Jason Wicks. Next up, we are in the flyweight division. OJ Osborne takes on Tyson Nam. First to the scale, Tyson Nam. Official weight, 126 pounds for Tyson Nam. And his opponent, the Jamaican sensation, O.J. Osborne. Official weight, 125 pounds for O'Day Osborne. Up next. It's about in the lightweight division. Gabriel Benitez takes on Charlie Ontiveros. First to the scale, Charlie, American bad boy, Ontiveros. Official weight, 155 pounds for Charlie Ontiveros. And his opponent, Gabriel Mowgli Benitez. Official weight, 155 pounds for Mowgli Benitez. Next up, a matchup in the women's flyweight division. 12th ranked Cynthia Calvillo takes on Nina Nunez. First to the scale, Nina Nunez. Official weight, 1 at 25 and a half for Nina Nunez. And her opponent, Cynthia Calvillo.
Official weight 125 and a half for Cynthia Calvillo. Next up, heavyweights take center stage. Martin Budai takes on uh, Lucas Tresky. First to the scale, Lucas the Bull Tresky. Official weight 236 and a half for Lucas Tresky. And his opponent, Martin Vanis Budai. Official weight, 266 pounds for Martin Budai. Featured prelim is a catchweight bout of 120 pounds. Angela Hill takes on Lupi Godinez. First to the scale, Lupi Godinez. Official weight, 119 pounds for Lupi Godinez. And her opponent fighting out of San Diego, California, Angela Overkill Hill. Official weight 119 and a half for Angela Hill. Main card starts at 7 Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific on ESPN. It begins in the middleweight division. Bruno Silva takes on Gerald Merchard. First to the scale, Gerald GM3 Merchard. Official weight 185 pounds for Gerald Mershar and his opponent, Bruno Blindado Silva. Official weight, 186 pounds for Bruno Silva. We are in the women's bantamweight division. Priscilla Cashweta takes on Ariane Lipsky. First to the scale, the queen of violence, Ariane Lipsky. Official weight, 135 and a half for Ariane Lipsky. And her opponent, Priscilla Zombie Girl, Cashweta. Official weight 135 pounds for 
Priscilla Casueta. Next up, a bout in the light heavyweight division. Devin Brown Bear Clark takes on Azamat Mirzakhanov. First of the scale, Azamat, the professional, Mirzakhanov. Yeah. Official weight 204 for Azamat Mirzakhanov. And his opponent, Devin Brown Bear Clark. Official weight 205 pounds for Devin Clark. The matchup in the women's strawweight division, Yasmin Hauregi takes on Yasmin Lucindo. First of the scale, Yasmin Lucindo. Official weight, 116 pounds for Yasmin Lucindo. And her opponent from Tijuana, Mexico, Yasmin Aurigui. Official weight 114 and a half for Yasmin Haragi. Our co-main event is in the featherweight division. Nate the Train Landwehr takes on David Onama. First to the scale, David Onama. Official weight 145 pounds for David Onama. And his opponent, Nate. The train, Landwehr. <laughs> Official weight, 145 and a half for Nate Landwehr. And now it's time for a closer look at Dominic Cruz and Marlon Vera squaring off in tomorrow's main event. Winning is not the most important thing. It's the only thing that matters. Marlon Vera has left no stone unturned, so dedicated, never takes any time off. He's the real deal. I do everything to have a chance to win a fight. 
Well, the UFC's Bantamweight division does not have a more prolific finisher in it than Marlon Chito Vera. This man's a very dynamic, exciting, fast, powerful striker. Very dangerous on the floor. Seven KO, seven first round finishes. Oh! Chito Vera gets the highlight he was looking for. He's the complete threat everywhere he goes. When they get the bell, I'm gonna be a great champion because I'm not gonna hold the division. That. I'm gonna fight. This mentality has always been there, and that's what's driven him to this point. I mean, the dude fights so hard. He's constantly training, constantly learning, constantly growing. He's an animal. I'm focused on one thing, and that one thing is kicking ass August 13. If you can beat somebody that's done what I've done, then you're on your way to being a champion. That's guaranteed. He's one of the most innovative fighters to ever compete inside the octagon. His footwork and his movement has changed the way a lot of fighters compete and move. What makes me different is everything. I mean, I don't move like anybody. I don't do anything like anybody. So that's the point. You know, you got to fill the gaps of the places that aren't filled. I try to be that in my style. This is the greatest band of weight we've ever seen. He was WC champion, UFC champion. This guy is as talented and as good as anybody that's ever fought at 135. And if he can win tonight, He's still a player in this division. Yeah, I'm a champion, I, I know that. Can I do it again? He's out, he's out! Welcome back, Dominic Cruz. Is it ever enough? Whatever he's doing, whatever he's thinking, I don't give a I really believe it's me versus me, and I'm gonna be better than I was in my last fight. He's the guy in front of me, he's going down. It's more where are they at in the division that challenges me and moves me up. And he's that guy right now, so I gotta beat him. I wanna put him down. I wanna put him out. It's gonna be a total destruction. I'm dedicated to the win with every ounce of my soul. Till death do me part. First to the scale, the former two-time UFC champion fighting out of San Diego, California. Dominic, the Dominator, Rude. Official weight, 135 pounds for Dominic Cruz. And his opponent, the fighting pride of Ecuador, fifth ranked bantamweight contender, Marlon Chito Vera. Official weight, 135 and a half for Marlon Vera. A word with Dominic Cruz. Dominic, before your main event tomorrow night, what does this stage and this setting mean to you? Love being here in San Diego, my people. We're gonna bring it back, let's go. Good luck, Dominic. Great to see you. On the other side, second straight main event for Chito Vera. It's a name you've been wanting for a while. It's a spotlight you've been wanting for a while. What can you say now on the eve of the big fight? It's going fucking down. I'm ready to go. I'm prepared. I'm going to be a world champion. I'm going to kick his ass. Tomorrow, I'm going to finish him. Count my words out. Let him hear it. going to be a great fight tomorrow night. Chito Vera, Dominic Cruz. We'll see you here at Pachanga Arena and on ESPN. Thanks for coming out. Tomorrow, the UFC returns to San Diego, looking to continue his momentum with a fourth consecutive victory. Marlon Chito Vera takes on the former bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. Plus, a full card of nonstop action you do not want to miss. UFC Fight Night. Vera versus Cruz, live from Pachanga Arena on ESPN and streaming on ESPN+. Plus. the skills that this man has. He can submit you or knock you out on the beat. He's a very dangerous man. Costa and Brockholt, two savages with knockout power. Jose Aldo and Marab Wallace Willie. I love 
everything about that fight. The UFC returns to Salt Lake City. I can't wait! I'm unstoppable!